What's going on YouTube? It's your wild looking Native American friend Tyrone. So for today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to get custom skins in Minecraft Windows 10. So this is just going to be a quick and short tutorial for you guys and I hope it helps you out. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Minecraft Windows 10 just to show you guys the interface that you have to work with. So you'll see here I have a custom skin already loaded in here. Now what you want to do is click on profile. So once you get to this screen, this is where you'll be able to make edits to default characters. You can make different edits to body, to style, and you'll see here that there's a bunch of different options for you to edit these default skins in the game. However, this is not what we're interested in. So we want to be able to upload custom skins without having to customize them in the game. So to do this, what you're gonna do is you're gonna select the other tab that's up top. And once you're in here, you'll see owned and purchasable. So you can purchase custom skins if you want to spend money for it, but you can also click on the own tab. And this is where you'll be able to import custom skins from the internet that you download. So once you select import, you can click choose new skin, and this will give you the option to select a file that you have on your computer and upload it into Minecraft Windows 10. So in order to do that, you want to open up your internet browser and just type in Minecraft skins. Um, there's a bunch of different options and I use the skin decks and it just happens to be the first option. So once you're here, you can type in different skins that you want to look up. So, you know, different superheroes or you can type in literally anything, you know, Batman, Superman, it doesn't matter. Um, my skin is the Tyrone Bigum skin from the Dave Chappelle skit. This is my skin just because my name's Tyrone, so I think it fits. And it's been my Xbox uh, gamer picture for the longest time. So for our example, we're going to do the Spider-Man skin here. Once you find a skin that you like, you're just going to click on the skin. And on this screen, it'll give you an option to download. So once you click download, I usually don't click save because then it just saves like wherever it wants to, it feels like. So I click open, and then I'm able to just save it right where I want to save it. So I'm just going to save it to the desktop. So now that we have the skin downloaded, you can click on the editor. So you can see here we already made edits to the Superman skin, but I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. So what you're going to want to do is click upload from computer down here in the bottom right. And once you do this, you're just going to locate that file that we saved. So we saved the Spider-Man skin. And once we click that, it will upload into this editor. Now you can choose between arm pixels, whether it's four pixels or three pixels, which is classic or slim. I usually do classic just because it looks better. So once the skin is uploaded, you can choose any of these colors here and you can basically paint these pixels anything you want. So basically, you can edit your own custom skin. So you can start anywhere from a blank canvas to one of these pre-built skins for you and customize it just how you want it. Once you finish with your edits, all you have to do is click download like we did before and save it to where you want to save it. So for us, we're not going to do it. We're just going to do the Spider-Man skin that we did. So now what we're going to do is open Minecraft Windows 10 again. Again, once we're here, we're going to select Profile. We're going to select Edit Character. We're going to go to that second tab. We're going to click Owned. Then we're going to click the Import button again. And we'll choose the Choose New Skin option below. Once you select this, you'll have to just find where you saved your file and click Open. And then you will choose whether you want that classic or that slim version of your skin. To me, again, I like the classic version, so I'm going to choose classic. Once you've done this, your skin is now uploaded into Minecraft Windows 10, so you can simply just press escape back and it'll save your character. So unfortunately, it seems like you can only have one of these available at a time. You'll see it changed my Tyrone Bigum skin to the Spider-Man skin. So I'm not sure why that's the case, but all you have to do is create a file on your computer where you have your various skins that you want to have, and you can just select which skin you want to use at any given time. So that's it. It's that simple. I'll load into a game here just so you can see the skin works in the game as well. If this video helped you guys out, please make sure to leave a like. It really helps out the channel. Leave a comment down below if you guys have any questions or comments. I should be making another version for the Java edition of Minecraft, and then I'm gonna be doing some research into the Xbox edition because I think it's possible, but I think it's a little bit more complicated. So stay tuned for those videos and updates as well. As always, you can find me on all social media at Ono Tyrone. So drop some follows on those down below in the description. I will also leave a link to the Minecraft skins website that I used. So that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one.